Hello everyone, I'm Engineer Yakub, and um, I'm doing this video, uh, this DIY video, uh, because of my AC unit in the house. So we had a problem last night when we went to bed. I um, we actually had the um, the unit on AC, but long story short, I woke up around 4 a.m. So I discover it was cold. So and the next thing that came to mind was to go to the thermostat and, you know, change it to to heat, you know, or basically turn it off because it was on air condition before. The thermostat was completely off, blank out. There was no option to turn on the heat or the air condition. So I became really concerned. And because of that, we had to manage, you know, of course, until daybreak. And I called the company to come and help us, you know, to look at what the problem is with our unit so the gentleman came here and came to the attic uh, for your information I'm, I'm in the attic like in the upper level like inside the roof of the house so he came in here he checked everything and then he went downstairs and said oh the external unit is not running so I need to check what is going on uh, so he came back to the attic in check and then when he got here he now said oh uh, he discovered this cable. You see this bond cable? I'm not sure if you can see. Let me take my camera close. So he saw this bond cable and um, he he immediately said, oh, there's a problem. And I, I, I saw it myself. And I'm like, okay, so what do we do? You know, what do we do to resolve this problem? By the way, for those of us who don't really know, I'm really practical. I'm handsome, trust me. I'm not just engineer by book or by qualification, I'm really, really hands-on. So I, I asked him, okay, what do we do? He said, oh, because of this cable, that um, we're going to have to change all this unit. I'm like, are you kidding me? So I asked him, is there anything wrong with this uh, unit? He said, no. But the only thing is, because this cable, everything is all wired inside, it's all connected, because he felt I had no clue. But I took my time, listened to him, let him, you know, tell me whatever it is that he feels uh, we need to do. And he wants us to change all of this unit. He wants us to change everything here. You see? Everything here. All this unit you are seeing right here. He wants us to change everything. I'm like, okay, uh, can you let me know what is the cost? What will it cost me, you know, to replace all of this unit, even though this unit is not bad but you just want to recommend that we replace everything he went downstairs went to his car made some call and came back and guess what guys he came back and said to me that not only are we going to change all this unit but i'm also going to change the external unit i mean the outdoor unit i'm going to show you that when i'm done working here i said what do you mean but there's nothing wrong with it and by the way, in this house, because of the size of the house, we have two different units. One unit is taking care of the, the middle level and the basement and the lower level. And then the second unit is taking care of the entire up. You know, so the, the, uh, the middle level and the basement is okay. The unit is working, the AC, everything, the heat and everything is on. The thermostat is on. But the upper level is where we're having this problem. Okay, let me know. He said, not only are we going to change the one for the upper level, but the entire house. I'm like, dude, even without him telling me anything about the price, I already knew this is going to be a lot of money because he's changing two condensers and he's changing the furnace system. I'm like, oh my goodness. You know what? Just let me know. I, I told him, okay, uh, let's go ahead and chat. We'll talk and... You know, we agreed and he said, okay, uh, how much is it? He said, $6,850. $6,000. i am not kidding. I'm serious. $6,850. That's the amount to change the unit. I'm like, okay. First of all, that's a lot of money. But you know what? Don't worry. I'm going to call you. You just, you know, go ahead and uh, you can go back to the office. But how much is my service call, you know, for today? He charged me uh, $105. I said, okay, go ahead and take my card. He charged me, bum, 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 bum. We sealed it. And guess what I'm doing, guys? I am putting 
my practical experience to work. That's what I'm doing. Because I cannot afford to change my entire AC system just because a piece of cable terminal is broken. Look, people who have really worked with me, I'm not bragging. This is not time for bragging. I'm just talking based on my, you know, uh, background and experience, you know. I have worked on huge units. Look, I am an electrical engineer. So I'm doing one thing for myself today. I am going to work on this terminal. I am going to... So here's what I'm, what I'm trying to do. On this terminal, I'm going to cut it up, you know, to connect between the transformer. You can see the transformer right there at the back, that transformer. Between the transformer, that's the panel system and the thermostat. This is exactly what this is doing. And so, because of that, and it's low voltage. This side is low voltage. This is high voltage where you have the breaker. So this low voltage, you can see everything here is low voltage. You can see the panel right there. So all these resistors, you know, diodes and transistors and, you know, and all that, they are all low voltage, okay? There's not even much harm, you know, working in this part, this part of the circuit, you know, so this high voltage, I'm not doing nothing about that. I shut off my um, my circuit breaker. I'm going to take off my ring, you know, because if I'm doing anything electrical, I normally take off everything. So I'm going to, sh uh, this is already shut off. There's no power supply to this unit beside uh, from the supply, which is here. So I'm going to start working on this now. Rip all this off. But what I bought, I went straight to Lowe's. I'm going to show you what I bought. I went to Lowe's. I'm like... <laughs> you want to make me spend a whole $6,850 just because of this terminal? I said, okay, I'm not going to argue with you. I'm just going to, um, you know, do my thing and, you know, fix this problem. And um, that's what I'm going to do. And I went ahead and bought a connector. I bought insulation cable. And I bought cable cocker. I bought... This as well, cable terminal, and um, and that's it. So basically, what I planned to do was, I was gonna, you know, buy this particular, you know, socket, male and female socket, and just replace it. But I couldn't get one of these, and because of that, I'm gonna be using this um, connector instead. So and keep in mind, this is a low voltage. All right. So there's little, you know, current flow, you know, from this low voltage. Matter of fact, I think I'm the, I don't want to dab into that. And of course I have my um, meter. So with my meter, I can read the voltage, I can measure current, and of course I can read ohms, you know, um, resistance. So I'm good to go. So I'm going to get to business and, um, you know, I'm going to call this video short. And hopefully when I'm done working, I will share my experience again, all right? Okay, so see you uh, in another few minutes. Okay, guys, so I'm done, you know, connecting the cable. So here's what I did. This is the burnt one. You know, I showed you this before. This is the burnt one. And like I said, there's really nothing in between them rather than the male and female, you know, clip. So... The cables, everything is right here. You can see. See the cable. Uh, let me turn on my. Um, if you can see, so this is the cable. Instead of using this, instead of using this one, because I couldn't get this one, and if I don't have this, the only thing I can do is to look for an alternative. As long as it supports, you know, the voltage regulation and is able to withstand the current. So you can see the transformer right there says 40 volt, 50 slash 60 hertz. That's the frequency. And everything else is just semiconductors, as you can see. So that's pretty much it. And I'm done with the wiring. So I'm about to put this to test. So what I did basically was to make sure that first off, I took my time to, you know, read the... Uh, the cable code, you know, and also the connection, making sure that I don't mix, you know, the connection up. Because if you mix it up, that means you might end up 
causing a short circuit, which of course might result to, you know, um, <clears throat> a blast or fire outbreak. So I took my time to, you know, make sure that I review everything very well. And I'm about to fire this up and see what we have here. So from the cable that burnt, you can see this is, so what I did was I cut off, you know, the part that is already burnt so I can have, you know, a good part of the cable. And I strip it. I also clean it up. And when I came in, the guy already removed my capacitor. And I, I'll, I'll be honest with you. I always allow, you know, whoever that is, you know, uh, probably uh, in a line of, you know, business or area of expertise, you know, to do their job. You know, so my very opinion initially was I've called these guys. You know, they've come to the house uh, severally, you know, like to work on some other, you know, issues. But the thing that really kicked off this my DIY, you know, um, uh, decision was that the amount that the guy gave me was just outrageous. So I'm about to fire this up and let's see if it works or not. So this unit wouldn't work. And because of that, he said, oh, we have to change. We have to change that. So I'm about to find out now. So let's go ahead and try it out. Woohoo! <laughs> My motto is working, as you can see. Uh, this is my screwdriver, is a light tester, so let me go ahead and check. So, there's no leakage. As you can see, there's no leakage. If there was a leakage, then there would be, you know, an indication on my screwdriver. So I can touch this. There's no leakage, it's safe to touch it, even while the unit is running. So, as you can see, my unit is fired up. And the next thing I'm going to do is to go downstairs, you know, go to the back. I'm going to, you know, I'm, I'm carrying you guys along because I really want to show this. And this is really fun. I'm going to go back, go to the back of the house, you know, check the unit, the outdoor unit that this guy condemned that, you know, it's not going to work. We're going to check it out, but I can tell you for free now. If this fan is running and I can feel the compression, I can tell you for free that the external unit is working. Uh, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to turn it back off, cover my unit, go downstairs and check at the back of the house and, you know, see if the external unit is working. All right? Okay, guys. So I'm outside now. As you can see, you can hear the sound of my unit. My unit is running. Everything is working fine. So we have two units. These are the two units I was talking about. So we have um, that unit right there. This is the unit that actually serve the upper level of the house. And we have this second unit, this big one. This one is bigger because it's the one that serves, you know, the middle level and the basement. And um, I just saved myself um, $6,850, as you can see. Thank you so much for watching this video. I'm Engineer Yaku. Bye.